good morning. I'm bringing you news from the uh, 652 Haverhill train out of Lawrence, and I'm woking, wake, uh, woking. I'm awake from my nap to tell you that at 6, 727, we have stopped by Ballard Vale, and we are letting people from the disabled train on in front of us on. Hello, I'm really not awake yet. Um, but what they've been doing is we've lined up our doors and so they're stepping out of the door on their train onto our train. We should be pulling into North Station in 10 minutes. I don't think that's gonna happen because we're instead of going down on the Lowell line, we're gonna go on the Haverhill line and let people off at every stop. Now, I don't fault the T for having us take on passengers because like we gotta do what we gotta do, but this is just yet another sterling example of a day on the Haverhill line. So I'm talking to passengers from the disabled train, which was, what train was it supposed to be? Andover. No, it's the um, It's the Haverhill line. Haverhill line. Okay, it's the Haverhill line. Um it's and I guess their thr one. their throttle broke so they could only go backwards. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's a different day, but I just wanted to clarify what happened um, last week on the Haverhill line. Uh, so as I said, the throttle broke, the train could only go backwards. My husband and I ended up being about an hour late for work and that was the preferable option. Um, I felt lucky that I made it to um, pick up the things I needed to get for a breakfast meeting, or rather to meet the vendor who was dropping them off for a breakfast meeting. Uh, since that's part of my job but my husband and I are both paid hourly so if we don't get in there for that hour because of transportation we have to make it up some other time so that cuts into our time with each other our time with our child um, yeah it's it just sucks it sucks that this happens all the time so anyway thanks for watching getting ready for my commute home bye